Hello everyone. A very important court case in the sphere of the free movement of goods in the European Union is the Dassonville ruling. This ruling dates back to 1974. In this video log I would like to briefly explain the particularities of this ruling and what we can learn from this case. As you may know, Article 34 of the Treaty of the Functioning of the European Union forbids all quantitative restrictions to imports and measures having equivalent effect. However, the exact meaning of a measure having equivalent effect was never specified by legislation. So, in the Dassonville ruling, the European Court of Justice specifies its exact meaning. The case goes something like this. Two Belgian brothers, Dassonville, they live near the French border in Belgium. They own a liquor store. They would like to sell Scottish whiskey. The most reasonable thing for them to do is to buy the Scottish whiskey in a wholesale in France. However, there seems to be a slight problem. Belgium law dictates that if you want to sell whiskey, you need to be able to present a certificate of origin to make sure that you are selling the real stuff. The main reason behind this law is that the Belgium government wants to prevent people from falsely brewing their own fake stuff. The problem is, however, that in France they do not have such a rule, so it is very difficult to obtain a certificate of origin when you buy the whiskey at a French wholesaler. The Belgian brothers had an ingenious idea to circumvent the Belgian law. They falsified the certificates of origin and they still bought the whiskey at a French wholesaler. However, as a result of their crime, they were fined by the Belgium authorities. The Dassonville brothers held that the Belgium law would constitute a barrier to trade. After all, it was very difficult now to import whiskey from France compared to importing whiskey from the original producer in Great Britain. Well, obviously the Belgium law does not establish a quantitative restriction. I mean, there are no quota or something like that. The European Court of Justice ruled that this is an example of a measure having the same effect as a quantitative restriction. The European Court of Justice held, and I quote, that all trading rules enacted by member states, which are capable of hindering directly or indirectly, actually or potentially, intra-community trade are to be regarded as measures having an equivalent effect to quantitative restrictions. The Belgian brothers, they won their case and the Belgian law did not apply anymore. In this case, the European Court of Justice did not specify whether this Belgium rule would be a distinctly applicable measure or an indistinctly applicable measure. In subsequent rulings, such as the Cassis de Gion ruling or the Kek Emitoire ruling, um, the European Court of Justice would use these kind of terms. However, when we look back in time, the Belgium national rule might be considered as an indistinctly applicable norm. However, we will never know because the Court of Justice did not specify this. I hope you've learned a little bit about the Dassonville ruling after watching this video log. For more information, please check www.drwernard.com or like Dr. Wernard at www.facebook.com slash Thank you very much for watching and good luck.